Hello guys, Hackercop here and today we're going to learn how to add animations to your custom tracks. So to start off with, it's very important to make sure your am animation material is scaled absolutely massively on your core. See how much bigger my lava texture is than my stone. This is important because animations are very small, so if you do it the same as you would normally think, which I've scaled right down, then you're going to end up with tiny animations in your courses. Once you've done that, and exported it and created your breath file. So I'm going to open now. You'll need a uh, Nintendo course with the animation you want to import. So I'm using N64 Bowser Castle. I'm going to open its breath file. Do them side by side to make it easier. Once I've done that, the first step I need to do, go to this animation. This is the lava animation here. You have to support is always boost ramp. So I'm going to press this. I'm going to click exports or press control E and I'm going to save that, keep the name as it is. I'm then going to export the material this animation needs. I'm going to go to into my course folder, I'm going to go to materials and I'm going to go to Iogun, which is same, this same name as here. Press control E and save that. And finally, I'm going to export the textures. So if I expand this here, these are three textures that animation requires. So I'm going to go to my textures. We have them here. Volk Surface MIP3, Volume D, and Yogan Ami1. Select these. Control E. Text O. Because there's no lossy compression on that. So we get higher quality. So save that. I'm going to do the same for these. Control E. Once I've imported all this data, we also now need to import the shader this animation uses. It states here, in the Miscay section, shader, shader 5. So you want that. So go to your shaders, go to shader 5, control E, export, and save it. So to start with, import the animation. Let's go to import texture animations. And animation data here, open the animation file. We now need to import the, we now need to go to 3D models, of course. And see a preview here. We're going to import asset shader. This is the animation shader. Animations need their own shaders. I'm now going to go to back to the course model, import the textures. This was these. I've got three more textures. And now we need to replace the lava material with our animated material. So we go to materials, lava, control R for replace. You can also do it this way. With I your gun material. And we can rename this now to I your gun. So here, control N is to rename blocks. Copy that. Lava, control N, rename. Uh, because this one is going to be using this shader, we need to move this to the bottom of the stack. So we have it like that. It's important we set this now to shader 1. And your animation should now be finished. So we can do a file, save this. We can press Ctrl P and preview it. However, what you will find a bucket will not play the animation. So to do this, we need to open it into a site called Noclip. There's a site called uh, Noclip website. This is a digital museum of video game levels, but it can also be used to preview courses. Animation tutorial. Open my file. Drag my course model. This also does SLS files as well. To here. And now using WASD, W to go upwards. I'm going to just increase my camera speed by you scrolling the mouse wheel. I now have my texture animation. To edit the scaling of the texture animation, you see even this one is a bit small. You're going to have to go back into your 3D software and scale up the material. So let's say it's really important to get the scale right. You may have to do this several times to get it correct. So 